and we are trying to find our way out um, successfully or unsuccessfully. Uh, it looks like we're we're going through this in vignettes. Um, there's I think like eight or nine people that got transported. They got transported to the school. Um, and we are going through. We're they're they they've been separated into groups. And we're going through like bit by bit. So we are starting chapter two now. I'm not sure what the stars mean. Difficulty level? There are five chapters. Oh, Baker. <laughs> oh goodness, it's good, good to see you, good to see you, good to have you, whoops, the buttons are reversed from, so I'm not continuing, I'm doing a new, view the chapter 2 opening, yes please, yes, I should just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of the stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she's the one that got herself hung. Freaking Kish Kishinuma. God damn Kishinuma. Fucking Kishinuma. Doesn't he know what a delicate flower I am? Most of it I had to lift before was chopsticks. I like hearing the butt say butt stuff in four <laughs> Especially, especially, this is the, the Japanese bot. Butt to stuffu, word fighter. Doesn't doesn't he know the delicate flower I am? Most of them had to lift before with chopsticks. Sounds like you're a spoiled brat. And he even expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse. Ah. Naomi. Naomi, that is one pretty sight. Oh my god. Huh? What is that booty you got? Who was in charge of the localization? <laughs> what? Yours is way cuter. Who translated this? Mine's all plump and what? Debt booty. What are you saying? You got what they call child bearing hips. <laughs> it is a good thing. <laughs> How old are they? I don't know. They're in high school. They're like seniors in high school, so like 17, 18 maybe. It means when you get older, you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. That's not what that means. <laughs> it hurts no matter how big your ass is. That does not a factor in childbearing. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. Why? <laughs> you do have a certain motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. Do you have childbearing hips, Mia? Um, sort of, I think. My my thigh my my thighs have a little have have a tad tad bit of meat to them. If you're curious, uh, I don't I don't know how I'm sure it wouldn't be good for childbearing though. Considering that I have a penis, 
it'll be very hard to squeeze a, a, a seven, seven pound living thing through that. Anyway, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. That's actually what my mother wanted. My dad, actually. My mother didn't want multiple children. Why am I an only child? Sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. He's gonna get the fuck you constantly. Hmm? And now we're back here. No! No! I can't do that one better. Chapter 2 Knock off Halloween music Ah, uh, uh, Mr. Shida Fast chapter <laughs> Wasn't that Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming students. Well, something already happened to your students. At least one student. <laughs> Sputter. Can you bury the child over there? It's alright. Please, calm down. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little. Sorry, please calm down. But you heard it too. Outside, her voice. <laughs> I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it just sounded like one. Cool, that should calm her down. Yeah, it's not a real person, just a ghost, probably. Maybe it was the building settling. So that means we're gonna collapse again. Cool, that'll calm me down. I'll go check it out, though, and see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? Definitely don't go wandering off on your own when you hear me screaming in pain from near death. Yeah, she sounds very calm. Mr. Shida, wait! Don't leave us! She said calmly. Definitely don't start fucking. This is not that kind of game, Pickard. Uh, Shinozaki. It's okay, Cheech. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Otherwise, I wouldn't be on Twitch right now. <laughs> <laughs> if this was the if that was the game it was or better yet how about I go take a look and you two wait here not a chance until I can verify everyone's safety fuck off I want to keep you two out of harm's way well okay I guess be careful though no look she'll be fine jeez Stop whining like a bitch. I'm counting, I'm counting on you, Kino, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. I'm actually really scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning, my arms are heavy. My, but it's vomiting my shirt already. Mom's spaghetti, that was not the day, but it's close enough. I can't even make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. I can't shake this dizziness or this nausea. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from it within me. I feel like, if nothing, nothing else, I can at least play the part of the level-headed adult. 
Valor, thy name is education! Alright. Mill Building 2 of Westall. So, about this game, there are many ways each of these people can die. This has such a weird start. It went from two girls coming from each other's butts to this. Well, that's because you missed the you missed the first chapter, Jacob. It was um it was recounting so though those two girls were the two characters that we were that we were playing as in the first chapter, one of them one of them hung hung themselves at the end. And so that was just like a flashback to the before times before they fell into the school. Jacob, excuse me, what? What are you talking about, Pager? Oh, I should look at that trash can. You call me Jacob, did I? I thought I called you Pager. Oh, it's just that Jacob is probably because Jacob is usually the one that usually the one that's here for for these games. There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted bucket. Cool. So there are many ways that these people, that all these people can die. And my objective is to get, is to get at least most of them out alive. Some deaths can't be avoided, but most of them can. The stubbornly large amount of human hair is crammed inside the cabinet, filling each shelf to overflowing. Looking closely, there is an excessive amount of buds excitedly scampering all over. So alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Cool. Heavenly Post. Breaking news! Serial kidnapping ends in murder. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town. And authorities... It's a lot of hair. And disgusting. Yes, it is. Hair is a big part of this game. Uh, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, at around 7 o'clock p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, Alive but near Kenetana, holding a pair of bloody scissors. Each of the corpses had his tongue severed, and remote unique mutilation is far too good to describe. The page is torn at this point, the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. I heard something about this once before, but I never realized how just how horrific an incident really horrific an incident it really was. Thunk. Hmm? Who's stunking over there? Should I go? This isn't the door I went into. Return home immediately, those remain here. We will go hungry and die of starvation. Hmm. That reminds me. Poor Monet is all gone. You must be one a hungry kitty by now. Monet. That's a cute name. That's from three. The door is locked. Well, we're in West Building 2F. I don't remember where... Hmm? It's a key, isn't it? Live on the key reads 3A. Take it? Yes. Faithful decision. Acquire classroom 3A key. 
No teachers allowed in the third floor. Why no teachers? So have you done a good job of saving people so far? Well... I've... I mean... Kind of? I feel like the girl hanging hang herself was supposed to happen. There wasn't much I could do to stop that, I think. I'll tell you that as a no. Some, some deaths are scripted. Some deaths are scripted. Others, others can be avoided. Otherwise, the game just restarts. Uh, the door is now unlocked. Uh-oh. It's a spirit! Well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did you? I'll have you know, I heard one of my students screaming, and I've set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. This school exists in a nexus where multiple di dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. That's right. Which means you two can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or, maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. You mean like the aliens in the Matrix? Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which your student scream emanated, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there's not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice! It is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They're... fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or, perhaps, it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. Ugh. With this phenomenon as it is, it's entirely possible for two closed spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore the agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Stand aside! I gotta keep rolling, 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 rolling. Come on, rolling, rolling, rolling. The shelves are filled with just about every variety of cutting implement. Kitchen knives, surgical tools, chisels, etc. all appear unusually sharp. For cutting implements that have been sitting in a closet unused for God knows how long. With so many metal tools in one place, this cabinet must be excep exceptionally heavy. Hmm. Why are we commenting on the heaviness of the cabinet? I'm worried. Okay. Step aside! Why don't you fuck off? You damn corporeal! An earthquake? Uh oh. Glass is breaking. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Mr. Shido! Okay, that's why we were talking about how heavy the cabinet is. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are you, school teachers. That's not true. I would say politicians. All you care about is your own well-being. That's a politician. Hey, Jacob, how's it going? It's going very well. How are you? You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. Oh, this really, really hurts. You're all the same. Every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore!
taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Has to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging at them. You're raging against the machine. Bulls on parade. That's not... I've never met a teacher. I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You... You're... Wrong. Spear said the fuck the fuck word. Not a Christian game like most to go, Yuki chan. Yes. <laughs> Court's party is not a Christian game. They don't have the same standards like a uh, must to go Yuki chan. Yuki chan does. <laughs> All of your students are destined to start to death in these godforsaken halls. They don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. And they sure will be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Sounds like fucking. E Sounds like fucking Ethan, Resident Evil 7. Any less words, bitch? I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Spare. <laughs> Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me. Just please spare their lives. They're not your children. You're not their mother. So you enjoy a quest party? You know, it's all right. Are you still? Are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar! Did you know? Will you die in this accursed place? You experienced the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity, and I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day, forevermore. Quas the Raven. <laughs> Ask me to spare you is what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Spare my students, bastard. You harm my hair on their heads. You hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. Someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. Is that the wrong decision? <laughs> Does it hurt? Ah, oh, poor baby. Your course will look like just a your course will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Every Everybody, put your hands up. Oh, 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 Live. I love you all. 
Was that the wrong? Meanwhile... Another earth another earthquake. I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta go search for Miss Shishido. What if she comes back while we're gone? We miss each other along the way. We're going! Is she the little sister? I think she's the little sister, actually. Alright, alright already! But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? She doesn't even go to the school that they go to. She's a, like a middle schooler or something. How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I can write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. That's not a that's a that's a chalkboard though. You could write on the chalkboard, okay. Miss Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and see this mess you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay. Just don't cry. We'll find her. Alrighty then. The shelves are filled over with, with long black hairs. Cool. The door is nailed shut. The nails are hammered and tight. It's not going to open through any normal means. Hmm. Normal means like a hammer. Notice to all faculty and students. Due to the recent kidnapping, scholarship is highly recommended during all daily activities. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly. So please remain alert and aware at all times. Principal Takamane Yanaki Hori. Yanaki Hori. Yanaki Hori. Okay, so. Miss Shinozaki. Should I just go straight to where she is? Oh! Hmm. I need a candle. That's right, candles, candles, candles. Is there, was there a candle in here? There has to be a candle. Son of a bitch. Candles are the save point in this game. Is this a door? No. Feeling. I feel like I should just go straight to where she is. Oh, no, 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 no. She was in 3A. That's right. I was like, what the fuck? Why is she here at all? Oh. What the? Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during that last earthquake? Shishido. Shishido Sensei. Where are you? I'm really worried. She's in that room that we can't get to. That's exactly where she is right now. Bleeding out like a stuck pig. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in the school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Alright, that's not a weird hobby at all. Rows, rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. A crude picture, seemingly drawn by a child, adorns one of the shelves. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult. 
and merely stabbing him to death. How unsettling. Alright. Oh, what the? Ow! Someone doesn't want us inside. I guess. Oh, okay. Um, so, I got a... I got a... I got a... One of those... One of those newfangled smartwatches a few days ago. And... Every, every so often it just tells me to just... Get up and move. So... Because I have no... I have no free will. I'm moving as... Google has commanded me. <laughs> I forget what this exercise is called. But it's like when you... You like bend... You like have your... It's like you're, like you're leaning... Leaning backwards. You can turn that off. I know I can, but I don't want to. Smartwatch, huh? Yes. I know I can turn it off. I have the ability to turn it off, but I'm listening. To what my watch tells me to do. Ah. Okay, because moving is important. You gotta get up and stretch. You gotta get up and stretch. Okay, um, anyway. Ba -da 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 -da. So what do I do? Let's see. Uh, ASMR! Okay. I never like wearing watches, just felt uncomfortable. You need ASMR. Alright, I shall grant that request, Mayor. Da, 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 da. Whoa, that's the wrong thing. I guess this is how it is now. Alright. I turn it off on my smartwatch. Have you ever seen how many miles you ran in bed? Uh, no, that doesn't activate while I'm sleeping, because I'm I'm not I don't wear I don't wear this thing when I'm when I'm sleeping. I take it off and put it on my charger, cause that's like a bit too intrusive. Besides, who wears watches while they're sleeping? That's weird. Um, which is the right one? This one. Hello, welcome to ASMR. Okay, Google. Set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. The Ender Dragon is called is called Jean. Okay. Good to know. I do. It keeps track of how well I sleep. Why do you need that information? Just go to sleep. It's not. It's not that hard of a thing to do. Just make sure the lights are off. There aren't any distractions, and then just fall asleep. Maybe take some medication. Rolls of dead bugs. So I'm wondering what I'm supposed to do. She's female, so it's the feminine pronunciation. So, Jean. I guess there must be something else I can do down here. Since I can't go anywhere up there. I get forced out of the room. This is the congealed yellow fluid. There's a male way to pronounce Jean. How does that work? John. John would be the male pronunciation. What's up? Is that a French thing? It is fully a French thing. I just had a brainstorm. Class Rep Shinozaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? 
There isn't a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... We light some candles like this all throughout the school building. Oh. Oh, wow. So... So, this happened before, this happened before chapter one. That's where all the save candles came from in the first chapter, from her leaving candles everywhere, because the candles were the save points. Oh, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. That's pretty neat. They'll be like signal flares from Mochida and the others. Let them know that you, me, and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay. That's really cool. I like that. I don't like that musical sting. Wee! Wee! Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. Thanks for that ominous message. Oh, look, bones! Them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Uh oh, horror music sting. These are human bones. Oh god, no! Uh oh, she's hyperventilating again. Oh, are you coughing up blood? Please don't do that. Um, obviously she isn't. I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. <gasps> yeah, she's just hyperventilating. She has COVID. Quarantine. <laughs> Had to get six feet, six feet away, wear a mask, disinfect everything. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it! My silver coin. I'm gonna put this over here. Um, hold on. So, okay. Silver coin. Yes, I, I, I bought some, I bought some silver, some silver a while, a while back, and I just have it on my desk. So like encased, encased in glass. But the. Don't indulge, don't indulge them, Jacob. They're 18 and they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, but they're these, the ones, the ones I got have little panda bears, have a panda bear on them. And some kind of Chinese building, I'm not sure what that, what it is. Execute them. Oh, like, can't be infected if they're dead. <laughs> that's exactly, that's exactly what North Korea thought, but it didn't work. Thank God, <laughs> the pandemic spread in North Korea anyway. <laughs> Even though they killed everyone that had it, they still, it didn't work. 
idiots. Fucking idiots. <laughs> anyway. We have to find Mrs. Shido. Oh. Yeah. Where the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shino's life would be a whole lot calmer. She just thought it was not the answer, it was the question. <laughs> what does that mean? The answer was yes. <laughs> What are you staying around for? Let's get out of here. Uh, all right already. Hmm. This is gonna be a, become a problem later, isn't it? Victim memoirs, one of five. I ate my friend today. Oh, cool, cooking companions. Nice tie-in right there. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We lifted it all up to a game of paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. Must have been a vegetarian, but that blood and that meat was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, I've been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying, and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Alright. There are decaying skeletal remains here, but the size of a middle school student. Then the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased have been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on sight. No, you can judge by the shape of the hips. What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hmm. Seems like this is gonna be a chase sequence. Hey, Shinozaki? My head is splitting. Are you... Are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in here, though. In the back. Hmm. We really shouldn't be here. Should I actually not be here, or... Past experience tells me that I'm going to need to do this, whatever it is. Oh, hello. Oh, what the hell? Stay back! Don't scare me like that! Jeez! You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? How do you know this? Alright. So... Don't turn and look at him is what... What is she saying? But I can walk by him? Arrested blood soaked nail puller sitting on top of the desk. Take it? Yes! Acquired nail puller. I really want to know what happens if I look into his eyes. I really want to know what happens. Should I do it? <laughs> I want to look into his eyes. I, I need to do this. 
<laughs> I have to know what happens if I look 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 him in the eye. <laughs> Damn it! I looked, and now I can't look away. <laughs> what the hell is up with his eyes? <laughs> What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinozaki. Miss Yui, Satoshi, is anyone there? Man, where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? I can't move. Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? <laughs> Who's... What? Oh, I'm being buried. Yoshiki is being buried. Dirt and gravel from above? Stop! The hell? I'm alive down here! You plan to suffocate me? I think that's exactly what they're planning. My mouth is getting totally filled up. Oh, oh. So, so, I can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Why? Who? This can't be happening. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. That's what you get for looking. I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay, breathe. I just wanted to see what happens. Depends on what you're into. Okay, let's continue. From the stairs, let's go. This time we won't look the ghost in the eyes. Uh, Ayumi, Ayumi is gonna have a reaction to all the bones and the skellymans. Yeah, yeah, they're just bones. Ayumi, get over it. I think I have to look at this. This is East Winter, and I lost. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Whoops. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I had to look at it twice to get the ID. Oh, that's bullshit. So I did that the first time, and it didn't work. I only looked at it once, though. So if you look at the ghost, you get buried alive. Somewhere. Stay back! 
if she said stay back, why does she push him forward closer to the ghost? Absolutely must not look at the ghost in the eyes. I have to go back downstairs, pull the door open, and this time, not look you in the eyes. Cool. Good talk there, buddy. There's something over here. There was a hastily written note on the ground. His writer seemed to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. Why, sister? It's cold, dear sister. It hurts. It hurts! After I died, the pain will continue forever. No! No, 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 no! Oh, okay. Sis, you lied to me. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Alright. Vengeful spirit, I hate you, sister. It hurts. Alright. Have fun with your everlasting vengeance. An erratic noise, like that would be. Okay. Okay, so this is the same part of the school that the other kids were in. We're just in another dimensional plane. It's time to go back. Uh, this way. Pay no attention to the bones. What is it? She looks different. Yeah. Huh? Oi, Shirodaki! Doko I gun there! Um... Okay. What the hell was that all about? She made a zombie noise and then she walked away. something straight down so now I need to go back to the back to the original room and pry the door open oh there's also this okay oh this is where this is where all the this is where all the kids put their shoes away in the start of every the start of every school anime Boy, what do you do? No one is saying that! Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. Are you a spirit medium? What are you doing? That's disgusting! Why are you both looking at me like that? Okay. Hey, Ayumi. Sup, pal? How you doing? Shinozaki, hey. Hmm? Kishinoma! What's wrong? You know what? It was nothing. Don't even worry about it. Um, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Hmm? Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. 
Her nerves are probably shut all to hell by now. Um, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Alrighty then. Can we just leave? That would be nice if we could just leave. Just walk out the front door. Fuck the memoirs 2 5. I hold in the palm of my hand the war little. A piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to our head, and now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. And I just keep squishing it in the palm of my hand as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Yeah, so how is that, um... How is that attempt to write all of this down to keep your sanity going for you, buddy? Eyeballs are squishy and delicious. Alright. Oh. It's the, it's the ghost that I couldn't look at. None. Wait, what? Wait. I got buried alive again? What was I supposed to do? You just walked up and looked at me. Should I not have gone back for gone back for a Yumi? I was just supposed to abandon a Yumi, right? And let her do her spirit medium thing. Son of a bitch. Walk out the door and the ghost is standing right there. Alrighty then. So to go through all this shit again. All boys are sons of cocks. We're all children of cocks. Spawn of cocks. That's a lot of retracing steps. Go and save before taking, talking her in that room. That's a good idea. I should go. I should go all the way back here. I wonder if that's it. I'm gonna check the bones in the hallway for more ID tags. Oh! Those bones too. This bullshit, I have to check it twice. Judging by the signs, these appear to be remains of the school and the Byakudan! Byakudan is senior high. Tomohiro Okwa. KK? Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Okay. Should I just. Should I just leave? Masato Fukuroi Hikari Kiragami Kirigami
That's the only bloody one. Head is splitting. Knees are weak, arms are heavy. Push you towards the ghost. <laughs> okay, don't walk all the way forward. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Safe for now. Hardest puzzle in the game. Once you once you walk past the bones, Ayumi starts freaking out. Oi, Shirozaki, doko ikunda yo. Doko ikunda yo. Stairwell, wrong, wrong, wrong stairwell, wrong the stairwell. I'm wondering if I should maybe just abandon her completely, because there's no other choice I can make. So once I talk to him, it's locked in. And then the ghost shows up. Oh. What the? I can't get in. Why? Right, because I saved? Yeah, I can't. I can't. It won't let me in. Now that I've saved. Huh. Alrighty then. Guess I'll just go back to the room. And Yumi can take care of herself, I guess. Alright, go with God. You screwed up. Wait, then what am I supposed to do? What am I to do? As I did it before, I talked to her, she communed with the spirits, didn't remember it, and then we're like, okay, let's leave. I'll walk out of the room. I'll walk out of the room. Let's keep going for now. I walked out of the I walked out of the room and then the ghost is just there. I just I just go to the Go to this door. The door is nail shut and the nails are hammered in tight. Is the nail puller? Yes. I don't know what this thing is. It appears to be a control mechanism. Gotta go deliver mail. Have fun, Mia. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Pigger. I appreciate it. Put up with a note we can find virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Yes, always pull the lever. Uh, 
Okay. Well, what's this about? There's a piece of square paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize there's they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly. Other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victor's memoirs to their conclusion. I don't know. See... That's the kind of stuff that I don't really like. I, I can't tell what's what's flavor text and what is actual instruction. So does that mean that I shouldn't? That I definitely should, shouldn't read the memoirs to their conclusion? Or does it mean that I should? Is it an actual warning or is it just flavor text? I don't know. Because, like, yeah, I know, like, oh, horror game, horror game, spooky messages, don't do this, but does that mean that I should do it or that I shouldn't do it? Okay, where, where was the, where was the, where was the bury me, bury me ghosty boy? Just do it, just do the do. Myself, oh, Mommy Milker, is hello, Supreme. How are you? I'm doing well. Ayumi just got shot, I think. Schnick. Huh. Yumi dead. I'm I'm alright as well. At least I'm air as well. Oh fuck. Okay, there we go. She walked outside and then just died immediately. So what you doing this fine? Fine, fine day, Mia. I'm playing Corpse Party. Oh, wow. That's not the state that we left her in. Oh, it appears that she got sliced with some very thin thread. And soda! So I guess that, I guess that lever controlled the thread, controlled the thread that killed her. Please, just end this. Why is this happening? What's the point of it all? This game is just kind of cruel like that because he chose to save first they were going to get a Yumi. You get locked into a bad ending. But when I say, but I saved a Yumi first. And then I walked, 
And then I walked outside and the ghost that I'm not supposed to look into the eyes was just there. And then I got buried immediately. So that's why I thought like, oh, okay, maybe I just need to leave her alone. So I don't, so the ghost doesn't show up. Why the hell do we have to be put through all this? Why? Why did you have to die? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Ugh, Shirozaki! Why do I have to see you like this? Why couldn't it have been me instead? Well, you're in luck, Yoshiki. Because it can, it can very well be you. I guess going all the way back to that other save. Cause the second one is locked into a bad ending. So then what do I do about the ghost? That's the question. It's the right way. No, I need to go up. Oh no, no, I need to go down, that's right, yeah. I do need to go down, okay. Is this something I can do beforehand? Is there anything I can check in here? Unless I read this, maybe. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the wall behind your back still there? I mean, yes. Just because you can't see doesn't mean that it's not there. You could always just ask someone that's already behind you. It's like, hey, is the world still there? Gotta go run the gauntlet again. With the don't look at me or I'll bury you, ghost. Don't 
Dame. So, is there any use for that lever at all? This seems like it's just a cut me up daddy lever. Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. My sister hurts. Or maybe I shouldn't have talked to that talk to this ghost. I don't know, we'll see. And this happens. Oi, Shirozaki, Doko, I can die. Or maybe, maybe it's just that I shouldn't save. Maybe I should just go. But if I go, yeah, if I go without saving, then the same thing would just end up happening. She'll walk out into the middle of the room when I pull when I pull the lever, and get sliced up like a fucking like Lady Deathstrike is around. Anything I can do. Maybe don't be the note. If I, if I leave, if I leave Ayumi and continue, then she dies. If I go to save Ayumi, then the ghost just shows up for some reason, and then I die. So, am I, am I not supposed to look at, go back to the entrance hall when the ghost appears? Oh, I still have control. I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> Whoops, that was the wrong... That was the wrong soundboard. There we go. Save. <laughs> Come on. 
come on, Yumi. It's like the fifth time you've seen this. Get over it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. to the ghosty room. Hey, no, that's not where the ghosty room is. Ghosty room. Shinozaki has a revelation. Magica. Tommy's All right, you me Time to get possessed to the entrance hall when the ghost appears. Is it gonna follow me in here and I have to keep not looking, looking him in the eye? Then, whoops. It's, it's the ghost from before. It left the classroom. Don't, don't let it touch you. Is that gonna follow me? Oh, okay. It's going this way. Okay, alrighty then. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Okay. Okay, now. I can save over this because that one is useless. Wait, can I kill the ghost with that lever? The one that sliced this up? Oh, thank you for the visa, Mr. Twin! Welcome back! It's been a while, my dude. How are you? Uh, where am I going? Here. This is where the nails were. No, this is not where the, where the nails are. I slip. Hi. Good slip. Son of a fuck. Where was the... Where was our classroom? With the nails. Maybe it was actually here. It was, okay. Thank you. 
inside. Pull it. Pull the lever. Why the lever makes the boards grow, I do not know. But it does. Don't question it. This is... Pull the lever, crook! <laughs> the ghosts are still wandering the halls, aren't they? Ooh! Yep, okay. Wrong lever! Come over here. All right, all right. Oh, nope, nope. Aha, jukes. Haha, <laughs> bitch. Okay, now where am I going? I forget. I forget where I'm going. Uh, all right, where the ghosty room was. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Where was the ghosty room? Oh, he's stuck! Ha <laughs> ha! Dumbass! Alright. It wasn't over here, I don't think, no. It was this way. Past the skelly, the skelly, the skelly children. Here? This time it makes the boars grow, but last time it just summoned a string that sliced us in half. Okay, 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 oh god, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, oh fuck. Fuck me, son of a bitch! Why have to watch this whole thing again? Yes, I know I'm being buried, I'm being buried. Okay, okay, thank you. Skip, 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 skip. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. We know what we're doing now. dare you go over here try and look at me oh shit okay oh how do you like me now bitch all right you literally just killed me a few seconds ago whoops why would I keep going this way path here because I'm gonna start here 
but he he'll be standing like right here. So I won't be able to like cross it before he can get over here. Hmm. Just have to not trap myself in the corner. Just the maneuver, right? Tasty, tasty, tasty strats. Oh, he's coming. He coming. Oh, God. Which, what was the way to go? Oh, he's done? All right. Cool. We made it. We survived. I will survive. Hey, hey. The cursed writings left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in the proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist on reading such dangerous words too, I pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Are you talking about the guy that ate his friend? Alright, Ayumi, don't just walk off like that. What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? No. I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. Oh, thank you for the save point. All right. Seems to be like a model. This cupped onto the wall. There's no way of opening it. Wait. Wait. They put this board here. They put this board here already. But it was. Before Ayumi put the candle there? Or was that candle not there in the last chapter? He needs to be raised with a close sense function of real side square D. Ryosuke Katayama. Kizami. Who is Kizami? Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Oh. I need to go into the infirmary, don't I? Son of a fuck. Devil a day. How to remove a tongue? Two. It can be a real challenge to keep sh to keep straight just which warm severed tongue belongs to which patient. As such, it is highly recommended that the tongues be tagged or marked once detached. Their owners would be in no state to identify them after all. Ha 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 ha! Because they just had their tongues cut out. Best to work quickly, too, before things get hectic. The patient's bare tongue stones will suffer postpartum swelling, resulting in a slow suffocation. You may wish to put the patients down once the inevitable squirming begins. It's, a kind, it's kind of that way. It will free you to tag your trophies in peace. Alright. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tech to the wall. 
Looking closely, each individual organ seems to be bursting and swollen, as if it could burst forth with a spray of gore at any moment. What is medicine and tonics? A drop of water to be found. Some fashioned space heater. So full of ash that I probably never let again. So you say. Should we rest here and wait for the ghost to come? No? Alright. There's nothing in here. Nothing to the left, all right. Cool. See you, Ryusuke. Ryusuke. <clears throat> Laboratories, girls, boys. Let's keep our restrooms clean. This is the boys' room. Hey, you even want to watch me piss? <laughs> I get the distinct impression that somebody's watching me. Well, that does my imagination. Well, no, it's Ayumi that's watching you. She's right fucking there, like a fucking creeper. <laughs> is the same guy gonna be in here? Yep. よけろ。なあ。なあ。今変な声聞こえたか。聞こえてないけど。ここ何かいる。How could you not hear him? He was loud as fuck. Should leave this room right now. All right. If you say so. What? Any games you plan on playing, Mia? Um. You mean. You mean after Halloween? Yeah, there's a couple. There's a. This is, uh, there's a uh, Your Land is My Land, which is like Ghosts of Tsushima, which, uh, instead of, instead of, uh, Japanese people defending their land against the Mongolians, it's uh, a Native American defending his land against the Europeans. So, there's that. Um... I don't know, there's not... Um... No, it's, uh, this land... This land is my land. Uh... Did I say your land is my land? I meant this land is my land. Uh... What's this? Looks like an imprint of a body. Hmm. Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear a voice. Dostano. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, okay. 
okay. Oh, a Yumi's gone again. All right. Just keep running off on your own. Damn it all. What the hell is going on around here? Ah, uh, not again. Bring me more! You'll do whatever I ask you! I don't care if you're innocent! The others is buried alive, aren't you? They're mine! I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you! Clean up is a real pit in the ass, too, you know. Have some pity! Uh, what's up? Absolutely nothing, Ayumi. What's up with you? I feel like I shouldn't say cut the crab. She clearly doesn't know what's happening to her. Ooh, ah? <coughs> the hell? That really hurt. I believed in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. <laughs> oh, that clears it up. God damn it! Hey, ghost, do you know what's going on here? That poor girl. She's lost her mind, and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing to have your thoughts pushed deep down to the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. So that's just it. She, she's done. It's over. Yumi staring at you as if transfixed with a naturally wide smile stretched across her face. All right, so Yumi is just done, I guess. All right, okay. So should I, then nothing I can do? Is that, 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 that's just it for Yumi? She's just gonna be watering this all, talking, talking, talking the ghosts all the rest of her time? All right, okay. I guess we lost the Yumi. Shinozaki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. But man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. Shinoma! Yabe. Yabe? Nanda kono kemuri wa? What's all the smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall right this instant! Are you vaping in there? He and his tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Explosion, that's what! I'm sorry. You're a real problem child, you know that. Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> wow. Kid was just fucking smoking. <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. I mean, yeah, kids shouldn't smoke, but you all should also just say like, hey, you're a real asshole, you know that? Why even bother coming to school? You should just kill yourself. 
That's not how you do the teacher thing. Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Wow, this gym teacher is a dickhole, a dickhole, isn't he? Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like they're trying to get, not like you're trying to get into college. Well, you're holding up as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. You're not helping right now, sir. You're not doing any kind of good at the moment. Uh, huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no good kid like you in the family, but they're never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conference we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. Ha ha ha! <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. Alright, dude. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I wouldn't be half as nice with them as yours obviously are with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. I mean, that's true, but... Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Alright. Republican gym teacher. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass, then drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good memories and they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not! Ha ha ha! Hmm? What's with that look? I've never hit a teacher before. Ah, oh, well, first time for everything. Oh, wow. Say by the little girl. Nanda. Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? Gotcha, thanks. Hmm? Shidozaki? You got great eyes, you know that? No, 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 I know where this is going, I know where it's 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 going. You can't trick me, you cannot fool me, I know exactly where that's going. This is the part of the game that I thought was going to happen all the time. Always so clear and focused. Ha 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 ha. We instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem? You come talk to me about it, okay? Ha 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 ha. If you need a dick, I've got that for you too. Ha 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 ha. Jesus fuck. That guy is the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better, huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fit it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you regret it later, you know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass may be, no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end, just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly, Why are you crying? Ah, uh, sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from Class 1-5, right? Yeah. 
I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. One, 1-3? Three. One, three? Aren't classes in Japan usually like a number and a letter? Like 1A, 1B, 2E, 3F, like that? Sorry, the button like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. Hey, <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test. Let's see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Here she comes! Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! She no- Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Ow! Wow. <laughs> okay. That's one way to end it, I guess. Let's kick him down the stairs. In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's ribcage shattered on the impact and pierced his lungs. As he convulsed and rotted in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and a natural smile stretched across the length of his face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of his handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself, well, so long as she was happy. Game over. Chapter 2, wrong end. Alright. So clearly I did a wrong thing. I'm not sure what it was. I guess don't leave her behind when she's possessed? I'm guessing that's the thing. I don't really have much else to go on. So, this is the most recent one. So, is there a way to stop her from being possessed? Or should I just, like, not leave her behind where she is? I just go up here. Oh no, this is where the this is where the bathroom is. This is where everything started. Maybe I should just not go in the bathroom. Check the bed though. No, nothing there. Alright. I think you have to go back into the girl's bathroom after she starts acting crazy. Is that so? Okay. I'll give that a try.
know, this is a boy's bathroom. We'll find Psycho's, Psycho's remnants. Basically, don't abandon her. Fight it. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand anything you're saying. Damn it. <laughs> well, so long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. What the hell? It's all this pitch black inside. There's a dark sandal flown in the shape of a person's body. I don't feel like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Hmm, nothing else to check. Shinozaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Ah, oh, this again. Yeah, creepy gym teacher. Alright, done with that. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. Is anybody else who are trapped here? Okay. She's still coming in, coming in. Shinozaki. Aww. Please. Come back to me. Shinozaki. We're going to find all of our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason for you to stay like this. So warm. Kishinuma, where? What? Shinozaki, you're. <coughs> Ow! Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What do you? So, what you're saying, yeah, so far all the courses you found in here have been people we've never met before, but that stain was left behind by someone really close to us, someone whose mind was completely filled with pain and agony of death. They walked through the valley of the shadow of death, and the next thing I knew, I was in your arms, he was squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold. 
Except my throat was so hot, I felt like it was on fire! And then I voided my bowels, and everything went dark. <laughs> what? Did she just say that she shat herself? <laughs> uh, uh, Yumi, you wanna go take care of that situation? <laughs> I can't not screenshot this. <laughs> no matter how hard I struggled, I couldn't stop shitting. My arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Screenshot. <laughs> Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. <sighs> well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yu really is nowhere to be found. We did not search the whole building. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Miss Yui is still being crushed under a bookshelf right now. Follow the ghost. I just saved, so maybe. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> Is that a psycho? <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> you need to run quickly. In my homeroom, teacher's the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> Susamoto, hey, stop out of it. Susamoto, is this okay? Shinazaki, Kishinuma, <laughs> can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay, believe it or not. These really aren't bad kids. Huh? They just went through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and you'll see what I mean. Well, that one is just a... Uh, that one is just a Yukata. Four children abducted. Follow up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers had not been traced back to the hands of the instructor, instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. Or both. One of the victims even had ma the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. I'm guessing that's the girl on the right. The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in the basement room. Of these children, one was... Mm, when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was... Mm, blood... Mm. The newspaper was torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. <laughs> these ghosts! have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. 
I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No! Stop! Hey! What's going on? Shinozaki! Damn it! What the hell did they do? Ghosts do not want her to leave. Bwah! Come, come and play. the situation. I can't get by to any of those. They just force me away if I even go over here. What? Can't do anything but leave. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. I can't even touch her, much less, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to! Oh, your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez, you're so blunt about it, too. Uh, you before I didn't say anything, I just let it drip? Hello? Hello? Hi. She's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just survived the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't have to be happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho Sainoki. Sainoki. I think... She was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I thought the last word was communism when I read it the first time. <laughs> paranormal activities and communism. <laughs> I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sinoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering, though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me, seeing as how I'm dead. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After Chime. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. Why not? Why can't you tell us? Maybe we can do the same thing in reverse. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, 
I search high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that those closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School to the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of, victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped, with broken bodies that are found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving the shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure it seemed like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me. And I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderers here in the school? Yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? How will we even begin? You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Uh, hey! Shinozaki, hold up! Bad things always happen when you walk away from me. I don't know how much about you as an author. I don't know much about you as an author or paranormal researcher. Are going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. <laughs> oh, vomit! Oi. We call that reverse war. Hey, are you alright? I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think he's starting to step under the pressure. Shinozaki. She needs to get out of the school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Okay. So how do we find this killer? Oh god, this kid again. Oh goodness grief. This is the custodian. Wait a minute, this is new. There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing his head. Pick it up. Yes! Headless doll! Thoughts begin to echo your mind seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found its way to communicate his soul desire. What the? I hear a voice! Give me back my head? Quiet antique doll. Body. Alright. Give me back my head. I could have told you that's what it wanted. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing more to be done here. Oh, God damn it, now you're following me here. 
Ooh, 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 okay. Oh, you walk pretty fast, don't you? For a slow walking ghost. It's like fucking it's, it follows. Tag, you're it. Find this killer. I don't even know where to start. I could. Oh! Maybe, maybe. Can I take the board that was up? There was a board somewhere. I don't think it was here, though. There's spirits Sorry. about. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey Shinozaki, do you have any more of those any more of those candles that the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. I hope we let one up here and take a quick breather. To give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine. It really is kind of warm. It is. Oh. Wow, okay. It's a fix to the wall like a model. It won't move. Except when it does. I found the doll's head. The severed head of an old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now begin to echo in your mind. Singing from the doll, somewhere I know has found a way to communicate his soul desire. What's that? I hear a voice. Return my body? As the head and body of the antique doll join, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. The high-pitched voice of the ever child is slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, distorted yet oddly sing-songy tone. Child killings witness. It, I, out of sorts, within my brain. Never wanting them to die. But scared myself, such death and pain. I am sorry, I feel so ashamed, so very sorry. I am not a bad man, never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise a helping hand. I am so sorry. I am so ashamed. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think? Am I kind of repentance from the murderer? Choir penitent spirit. I never forgive him, no matter what he says. Hey, no, not this way. The other way. I get turned around so easily.
save to get in the penitent spirit. Hello, bury me spirit. Where are you? Over here. All right. Time for the jukes. Hey, no, I'm not gonna risk that one. We call this AI manipulation. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, wait, nope, not here. Oh, hello. That's something different. Cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish? Huh? Stop! You make them mad, they'll shut us out! Come on, you two. Ask them if you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Kimi held up the antique doll, let the children listen to the prank. Connect to the spirit sealed within. Rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones... Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. The girl of Suzumoto. Seizure warning, I guess. No! Stop! Oh! Wow, alright. Oh, well, that didn't work. Ooh, alright. Yumi threw the antique dogs on the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Is she? No. I think she is. Oh. This is... This is the corpse that the other two saw in the first chapter. Oh, like it was flung at the wall at a high at high speed. Suzumoto goes splat. Yeah, <laughs> then she did. Suzumoto go brr, brr. This isn't. It couldn't be. Suzu. Don't scream. Shirozaki, Mina. Let's get away from here. 
can't take this anymore. I'm gonna go walk away again and get possessed. Uh oh. I see you down there. I'm I'm really starting to lose it. She know. Oh fuck! All right. Sloop. 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 Oh, okay. We're back to the teacher. She's still alive somehow. <laughs> What? I need water. Oh, yes I do, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you for the water. Fucking drink. Yes, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Ow! Oh. <sighs> so you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am! But you're just an instructor, no? You're no familiar bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children! I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher. <laughs> now answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporeal entities join us in these closed spaces, all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. <sighs> My right arm is definitely broken. And all this blood. All those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. That spear was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this place, but their status and permanent as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Bring them home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. What a harrowing experience. Not because of the scariness, but just because of the... Because of the fucking... Bullshit rules that they set up thus far. <laughs> but I'm into it, I'm very into this. I'll be continu continuing this sometime, sometime this week. The only ending you miss with that chapter was the bad you get from reading all the victims' memoirs. Oh. Well, I didn't even... So, I really wasn't supposed to read all of them. Okay. I didn't even... I didn't even, like, I only got to the second one. I have no idea where all the others... All the others are. Do I end up, like, eating somebody if I... If I read all the... If I read all the memoirs? Oh wow. The the Who was the grudge? Which one was the grudge? Team Grisgris. 
Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm watching some of me to move, so I'm going to do that. As I as I close out the stream for tonight. Oh, I got the the penitence. Yoshiki eats a Yumi if you do. Oh sweet. That's the bad kind of war. Okay. Well, thank you everybody so much for joining me today. Um, I will be continuing, continuing, continuing this game sometime this week. Hopefully I can finish it before Halloween is over. But, um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with something. Maybe, maybe I will start the, the nightmare mode of, um, fucking... What is it? Um, Cooking Companions. Cooking Companions, there. So I will see you all, see you all tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you know when the stream will be starting in the, in the Discord, exclamation point Discord, if you're not already, if you're not already in there. So you can stay up to date on all the goings on of Miyagawa Kasueki. So yes, thank you everyone so much for joining me tonight. Please follow me on my right so you don't miss out on this awesome content. And until next time, Jamata! Oh. Short exercises, that's all you need. Little, small, short exercises. <laughs>